Hey guys, can y'all hear me? Yeah, he's getting it in. Hey, it's Zach. Yes. Hey, audio, you want another check, my check, or are you good? Let us know when you're coming to us. Arrington. I R O B T O N. I think Eric's going to read the intro. Okay. But it should help off too Okay. In a minute? Okay. And how long do I have? Okay. Sounds good. Did you hear that, Tony? We have a, well, about a minute to go. Well, Aaron, we're just off of Ironton Road in Little Rock.
other questions you want to ask me. I'm dialing in right now. He's dialing right now. He's dialing right now. Oh, All we, all we did was come to the direction of the, of the thing. So two people were on it. Yeah, I think two people were on it. Okay. And, uh, they go take it down. Hey! Bring it back down. Yeah. Yes. about to come. You can tell them they post it now in the pictures. They're posting to them now, so they should be up here in the next few. Hey, you got 
Hey, you got to scoot over this way. Aaron, good afternoon. Yeah, we're here at the scene uh, just outside the Little Rock Police Training Facility where we're told that one person uh, is seriously injured after a helicopter crashed just a few moments ago. Joining me now, Lieutenant Michael Ford with Little Rock Police Department. Uh, Lieutenant Ford, first of all, how's everybody doing uh, and how did this happen? Uh, approximately 10.58 this morning, uh, officers were doing a, a test to run uh, just to see if everything was mechanically working with the airplane, they had just put a new battery in it, so they were getting, doing the test run and firing up to see if everything was working mechanically. Uh, as they were doing that, a straight line wind came in as the propellers was going, and the, air, the actual helicopter was sitting on the platform. Uh, from that platform, when the straight line wind came in, it tilted it over, and the uh, propellers caught the ground and uh, sent the helicopter into a spin. Um, there was one officer seriously injured in this uh, incident. Uh, He's a retired police officer who, uh, who's on his way to a local area hospital. Uh, we'll be able to update more on the information as we get it. Uh, we're just trying to notify family at this time. And to be clear, this was sounds like a test run, so the helicopter didn't really get much air, did not really uh, get high in the air. No, it wasn't, it wasn't in the air. It was actually sitting on the platform where, it, uh, where we pull it in and out the bays once we uh, securing it and stuff. So as it was on that platform, a wind came in and, and tilted it off the platform, and it, that's when the propellers caught the ground and sent it into a spin. Uh, a little bit about the, the retired police officer. You said how much experience do we know that he has he's, flying these? He's one, of our, he's one of our senior flyers. He uh, previously flew for us uh, when, he was, uh, when he was here as an officer. He's been here for a while, and he has a lot of flying experience. What's the next step in this investigation and uh, the helicopter damage, is the helicopter still usable, do you know? Uh, the helicopter is probably not going to be usable anymore. Um, the damage was significant because uh, we actually have to pry them out the helicopter. Uh, right now what will happen is our reconstruction will actually take over. Uh, FAA and NTSB has been notified of the incident, uh, but we're going to hit the incident since he wasn't in the air or taken off or anything like that. And our reconstruction will reconstruct the incident and uh, We'll go from there. Lieutenant Ford, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. All right, Aaron. So, again, uh, live out here just outside the uh, Little Rock Police Training Facility. One person hurt, a retired Little Rock police officer uh, on that helicopter. Helicopter didn't get much air, didn't even leave the ground, really, doing a test run. Uh, but as you heard Lieutenant Ford say, they had to pry that person out of the helicopter. Seriously injured right now. We're going to continue to get more information and pass that along uh, as we get it. Live in South Pulaski County, Tyler Thomason, KARK4, uh, Arkansas Today. Back to you.